we're going to be talking about is my June favorites. So, a lot of you have been watching my vlogs and all of you know that I have been doing some amazing exploring and doing a whole bunch of outdoorsy, adventure type things. So, I want to get you guys kind of caught up with that, but then also get you caught up with all of the things that have been my favorites for the month of June. So, for the month of June, we're going to talk about my favorite skincare stuff first, and then go from there. So, my favorite facial scrub has been the Baxter scrub, the facial scrub from Baxter. This stuff has been awesome. Like I said to you guys, when I uh, first bought it, I was going to give you like, a little review about it later. Um, it's made out of walnut instead of something that's like synthetic or something that's even more like rough. So when you're scrubbing with it, it's not ripping your skin apart, but it's giving you a nice even like buff down. So I've really been enjoying that recently. Um, gives you a nice just exfoliation, so it's not too drying. Moving on from there, the next thing that we're talking about for skincare is going to be the Lush Cosmetic Lab. A lot of you know that I've been using this for a while. You can use it as a shaving cream or as a moisturizer, and in certain cases, you can even use it in your hair, I believe. Um, but I really, really enjoy it. It's very soft and it's like soothing to the skin. It's like oats and honey, I believe, so very, very like clean. But I just like it because it leaves your skin feeling hydrated but not weighed down, especially for summertime. You don't want it to be something that's like so thick and heavy because then everything feels like it's melting off your face and that's just not a pleasant feel. But the Cosmetic Lab, it sits on the skin nicely and it works well. Moving on from there, the next thing is going to be the Groom Shaving Oil. I got this in uh, one of the boxes that I got for Frank and Oak. This oil is actually really good. I was surprised when I used it for the first time. Um, it smells really good and I'm a big smell person. Like if it doesn't smell good, then I'm not going to use it. It smells like, mm, like a fresh, clean man, I guess. It's very like soothing and calming to the smell, but it's also musky. Um, but there is, I know for a fact, there is the hemp seed oil, essential oil extract, sunflower seed oil, but then the castor oil. You do smell the castor oil a little bit more than you probably would want to, but when you do shave with it, your neck or face, whatever, feels insanely smooth and silky. And what's nice about it is sometimes I have used other shaving oils in the past and those oils don't stay on the skin after you shave, it's gone. But this one actually does leave a little bit of a residue on the face, which isn't a bad thing because you're supposed to be shaving with it. So anyway, it leaves the skin feeling very smooth and hydrated. Uh, I just splash my face with water afterwards, rinse it off, and then put on my moisturizer. But those have been all of my favorite skincare products for the month of June. Um, I have been out in the desert a lot and I did feel like my skin got a little bit dry. So I did mix some uh, grapeseed oil in with my moisturizer just to get a little bit more but you there. All right, so moving on from uh, beauty products to tech products, we're gonna be talking about my favorite tech things that I got this month. So um, all of these things that I purchased by myself, so I'm not some spoiled person that got things sent to them for free, but I got the GoPro Hero 4, and this thing has been awesome. If you guys do watch my vlog videos or whatever you wanna call them, uh, this has been so cool because I get to keep it on like the side of the Jeep, I get to film panoramic things with it, cool stuff like that. So I've been really enjoying this one. It's cool that you get to film in 4K, which is insane. It's fun, moving on. The next thing that I want to talk about to you is something that I've been saving up for for oh, quite a long time, for an insanely long time. Um, I have right now the camera that I'm filming with is a Canon 70D. Uh, I got that probably like a year and a half ago-ish. Um, and it's been my like workhorse camera that I use for video and pictures and pretty much everything. Um, but I have always wanted to get this one and this is the Canon 5D Mark III. This thing is a beast. It's insanely big. When you first um, pull it out of the box, well for me comparing it to my Canon 70D, um, I was like, this thing is massive. So um, it's the Canon 70D with the 105, so 24 to 105 lens on there. Um, it was just time for me to get a 
full sensor lens and full sensor camera since the uh, 70D is a crop sensor. Just, I've really fallen into love with photography and I've really wanted to have better quality pictures and better pictures in general and just something that you can really, you know, see. So when I do take night photography or take a picture of something you can really just like see the full mint details. Uh, the Canon ZV-D is nice, but it has that crop sensor to it. So literally everything that you see on it is like half-ish of what this camera can see. So it's gonna be less crisp, less quality, and you're also not gonna have uh, as wide of a picture as you go with the full sensor. So it was just time for me to get a new one. So I got the 5D Mark III with the 105 lens, 105. Uh, yeah, so moving on to the next thing that I want to uh, talk to you guys about, I guess, is this guy, which is another thing that I'm insanely happy and proud of, uh, is my new MacBook. This is MacBook Pro 15 inch. And I went with uh, the one with the terabyte hard drive in it, just because I do so many YouTube videos and I have so much stuff going on, and especially with my new camera with it shooting in RAW and insane HD, I needed something with a little bit extra backup and space to it, so I got the terabyte hard drive with this guy, and it's literally been amazing because if you couldn't tell with my last video that I shot in Moab, I just was able to edit it and really make everything super perfect and fine-tuned. And with my old computer, it was a 2010 MacBook Pro, so it's been on around for a while. Um, it was just lagging and slow and I couldn't really edit and change things around as much as I would want to. So I went ahead and got a new one of these so that way I could you know, keep up with my video making and make things better quality and a little bit more crisp and just as, as good as I want it to be. Um, so my last thing that I'll talk to you guys about for this video is a place to store my computer and my camera. Um, since I was spending so much money on those things, I didn't want them to shatter and break or anything like that. So I went and got this this bag. This bag is a toolie bag. I will leave the name of it in the description bar below just because I don't know the exact name of it. But the cool thing is, is the top pocket unravels, unzips, and you have a whole huge section in there for storage. And then this bottom flap flips up. You have a zipper pocket here, two pockets here for storage, another zipper here, and then a little Velcro pocket here. And then the reason why I got this bag is that this has the DSLR camera spot, uh, which is fully removable. So if you wanted to, you could take out the camera bag and uh, do like a day trip with it. And then there's also the slot, which goes right behind the backpack straps. And that is where your computer and your iPad could go if you wanted to transfer everything with you all at once. So it's just nice that you can really travel and have your camera safe. Um, without having to have like that awkward camera bag and a backpack and other stuff. So you can literally throw everything that you want in here for like a day trip or even for um, like your tripod can go in this side, which it has its own personal like little uh, custom strap thing. So you can really turn this into like a workhorse bag or a day trip bag or whatever kind of bag you're wanting. Um, I've been loving it and I also had it in my last video. If you haven't seen that video, you should go check it out. It's literally one of my favorite videos that I've ever put together. It's my Moab video. The link will be right down in the description. It'll be the first link. Um, but I had that the bag out in Moab with me. So, yes. So those are all of the things I have uh, collected over this past month that I've literally loved and enjoyed. I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. It's been so nice to actually sit down and talk with you guys again. If the people that are still here watching this video, congratulations, because next week's video is going to be a Q&A video. So if you actually made it this far, you are the people that get to participate in the Q&A. So how this is going to work is I want you guys to go uh, right down below and just ask me a question, and then you can just do like hashtag Q&A, so that way I can find um, the specific comments that you guys want me to answer. Um, and then next week, for next week's Friday video, I will do my Q&A video, which will be nice. So if you guys have any questions or have anything that you've burned in a little like hole in your heart to ask me, um, just ask me this week and I'll get back to you next week. And um, another thing is my Instagram, poof, 
it's deleted. So I have a new Instagram, it's the same name, Yrsm, so W-Y-A-R-S-M. So if you guys can go and subscribe back to that one, because I don't know what happened, but it's poof gone. So I uh, had to start all over. So go subscribe to my Instagram as well, so that way we can keep up to date. And anyway, I love you guys. Hope you have a good rest of your day. I'll have a good rest of my day. Bye. Bye.